Now, the breaking news we have here says that DSS reveals suspended a CBN governor. Godwin Emefele is allegedly uh, linked to IPOB, uh, which is Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. <laughs> okay, now, the Department of State Services, uh, DSS, has uh, suggested that Godwin Emefele, the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has, uh, has a connection with uh, the separatist group, Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. A Politics Nigeria reports that the DSS made the suggestion in a tweet on Tuesday, in which it pointed out that Emefele is being uh, represented by the same lawyer as uh, Indigenous People of Biafra IPOB leader Namdi Kano. A Biafran Republic agitator and the uh, outlawed uh, proscribed IPOB counsel defending the suspended uh, CBN governor, the DSS uh, tweeted. Okay. Is IPOB defending one of theirs worth a contradiction? Hmm. What was the connection? Is someone telling us something? May Maxwell be properly educated on points of law and please. Well, according to this uh, storyline, uh, say policies Nigeria uh, reports that the DSS made a suggestion in a tweet on Tuesday in which uh, it pointed out that Amy Fele is being represented by the same lawyer as a uh, IPOB leader Namde Khan. Okay, from what I can deduce from this, lawyer can represent anybody, even if the lawyer to IPOB, which is the indigenous people of Biafra, you know, have a counsel and they're supporting them. The job of a lawyer, he can still extend if there is need for him to support a Buari, you know, or advocate for Buari. They are doing their job for crying out loud. Well, link to IPOB or not, link to uh, indigenous people of Biafra, Biafra or thereabout does not really, you know, tally a job or the job of a of a lawyer is to defend uh, the citizens of Nigeria or rather in general a lawyer can defend anybody or rather advocate for anybody. A Biafran Republic agitator and outlawed uh, help proscribe uh, the indigenous people of Biafra Council uh, defending a suspended CBN governor. Well, the DSS has tweeted, which is Department of State Services, is IPOB defending one of theirs? A worthy contradiction. Hmm. What's the connection? Is someone telling us something? Uh, may be Maxwell or may Maxwell be properly educated on points of law? Well, the added, please. Now, the DSS tweet comes after Ibefele was charged with illegal possession of firearms by the Nigerian government last week. Ibefele's arrest and detention were, f were nullified by a court earlier this month, but he was uh, later charged with firearms offenses. And now, Godwin Ibefele was appointed governor of the CBN in 2014. He was suspended by President Bola Med. Uh, Tinumbu on 9th June 2023 and later arrested by the DSS. Well, I would say if uh, Tinumbu, you know, signed for the arrest or rather was proved, in other words, the government and administration of uh, Bola Med Tinumbu, you know, um, uh, uh, nullified his appointment. Or rather, the DSS tweets come after Amy Philip was charged with illegal possession of firearms by the Nigerian government, uh, which was last week. Amy Philip's arrest and uh, detention were nullified by a court earlier this month, but was later charged with firearms offense. Hmm. Now, it says that uh, he was also suspended by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on night uh, June 2023 and later arrested by the DSS. Now, suspension from Tinubu is as per Tinubu being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, being sworn in, uh, even if there are allegations or, you know, there are charges against uh, Tinubu concerning uh, his uh, credibility towards uh, the presidency. He said it was rigged, but that does not mean Tinubu cannot uh, display his prowess or rather as the president of the uh, federal republic of nigeria 
he needs to display his um, authority. That's what it is. Now, like I said, on the meantime, the breaking news is that DSS reveals a suspended CBN governor, Emefeli, has allegedly a link to IPOB. Well, anybody can be linked to anything, provided uh, you are you, you you are breathing and you're living as per being a citizen of the country also. And um, I believe Emefeli had issues, you know, during the time of. Uh, Buari, the administration of Buari will believe that Emi Freely, as a CBM governor, has been you know, linked to crime, has been linked to theft, has been linked to embezzlement, has been linked to so many, you know, atrocities, and uh, it has been allegedly that Buari, you know, when has been uh, has been the president. Fine, what well, was the president uh, during uh, when Emi Freely, you know, had us, had all these issues? Now coming to tell us is you know related to IPOB, I don't see a yastic of truth in that, or rather, that, that the submission does not really hold water because I believe uh, anybody can be linked to anybody or to anything. Now Emi is is not even an Igbo person; he's not even sponsoring anything. A uh, Godwin Emi uh, is just or was just a CBN governor, you know, doing his duty, you know giving us uh, what he knows about uh, Central Bank of Nigeria, what he, what he knows about, you know, uh, when it comes to monetary policy. But in other words, in other ends, God Mayfield was, you know, appointed or rather, you know, was put in that uh, position by Buhari. And um, there is there are no two ways about it if we talk about Godwin Mayfield and the APC administration. Now, for for DSS to come and tell us uh, is linked to uh, link with IPOB, I don't I don't know, or rather the lawyer advocating or the counsel advocating for Emifele as advocated once for IPOB, it doesn't really matter. Lawyer do their job as per their job. They were all they are all called to the bar. Whoever a lawyer advocates for shouldn't be a yastic of initiation or you know connectivity towards any group or any non-governmental organization or any you know affiliation the dss tweet comes after a mefili was charged with illegal possession of firearms by the nigerian government last week well emefili's arrest and detention were nullified by a court earlier this month but he was later charged uh, with firearms so that's firearms offense is what I believe uh, Tinumbu is aware about, and uh, he needed to do the needful, and he did the needful. Mm. Nigerians, 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 I know the comment session is off, but let's just, you know, get through to just one comment, and, you know, we call it a date for the time. According to this person, it says, Tinumbu should be careful about this uh, DSS thing. It is full of unpatriotic... Uh, citizens i hate emifili with passion for the suffering he and his uh, collaborators subjected us to during his uh, ill faith ill faith or there about inconveniences and uh, also inconceived cash policy both they are being too rude in handling the matter president uh, buari or rather tinubu should set up a judicial panel a uh, commission of inquiry to probe his activities at the cbn during his tenure and uh, tinubu should tread uh, carefully well this is where i'm going to draw the curtain no time to waste time let's check out the comment section if you have one comment thanks for listening